everyone! With horses now in The Sims 4, it is only a matter of time before people start making spirit styling of the Cimarron content, possibly one of the most iconic horse movies out there. Now, I grew up in the day and age of the original 2001 version, so that is what our references are going to be from today. I didn't even explain what we're doing. I am going to be jumping on that bandwagon and I'm going to be kickstarting a bit of spirit styling of the Cimarron content, and today we're going to be creating Spirit himself and also rain in The Sims 4. Now I think that this is one of gonna hopefully be one of the best recreations we can get in a horse game because the customization for horses is so in-depth if you haven't seen it already. So I have some references we have ourselves in the game. One thing I do want you guys to know is I do have a custom content eye preset right now. It just changes the look of the eye a little bit so um I'm still gonna try out a few different ones because obviously we're still in the very early days of the horses just being released people are still working on custom content so i am trying out this one here right now just because i feel like i don't really like the default eyes <laughs> so we are going to be starting with spirit and funnily enough this horse already kind of looks like him now obviously there is a lot of fun looking tack here right now so let's actually go to everyday wear so we can have a nice blank slate uh technically this horse is currently a lusitano but what we're gonna do is probably find the Mustang. Is this in? I think it might be actually be in alphabetical order, which will work out the best for us. A Mustang. Here we have Mustang, and obviously they've gone for a little bit of the spirit vibes already. Now, I'm trying to think if I want to change any of like these body features, so I'm kind of looking at a picture. Like, it's hard to tell. Am I able to make this neck a little bit bigger? Oh, wow. Okay, I haven't really like played around with this a bit. It does annoy me how much it, like the user interface cuts off the horse. Can I like close it? Okay, that's a little bit better. I feel like his legs need to be a little bit smaller. Okay, this is maybe there's not as much customization as it. I'm trying to figure out. He's definitely on like the chunkier side around the neck. Maybe his head needs to be a little bit bigger. This is really difficult to kind of see because I haven't really played around too much with the sliders here. Okay, I think that's as like small as we can get the legs to be. Obviously, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron is an animated movie. It's not probably like completely anatomically correct, but I am trying to get as close to it as possible. Like a bit of a bigger head there. He has more of like a square face. Ooh, let's look at his ears maybe. Maybe if we- oh yeah, there's also edit details. Okay, he does have like smaller ears, I feel. I feel like they need to be down a little bit, but I don't- I don't know how to make his ears a little bit smaller. Like they're a little bit too long. Maybe it's in edit details. Oh, you can turn it in. <gasps> oh, for like the Mawaris and stuff. It's not like super in depth though. Okay, they're definitely just like straight ears. I am really just like pressing buttons right now and not working out. Okay, I feel like that's something, but I also could have just ruined everything. Let's look at his eyes. He does have a bit of a lighter brown eye, so we might do something like that. Let's now look at his coat color. I feel like it needs to be a little bit more orangey, but something like this. I think he's literally this yellowish color here. What are all these different colors? Okay, maybe one of these does need to be that little bit of a darker color. Maybe not. Maybe it is just all yellow. This is obviously his mane here. Oh no, it's not. It's his legs. That would make sense. I feel like maybe they need to be a little bit lighter. Was that his muzzle? Oh no, that's his star. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't have any markings. I feel like one thing that is super iconic that he needs is obviously his eyebrows. Let's move into the paint mode and see what we can do here because like I'm a little bit worried. I don't I don't know. I feel like I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Wait, oh yeah, there wasn't any other like things that I could pull here. Like these legs are very much so like you can't change them anymore. You can change the hoof size though. Why do I feel like this isn't looking like spirit at all? Okay, no, he needs his eyebrows. That's that's all we need to do right now. Oh, look, there's the horn. I couldn't find it for ages. It's currently on symmetry. Let's match that hair color. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I need like a stamp of, of an eyebrow, but I don't... These ones here are meant for horses. Like this is meant to be like a little star pattern. But he doesn't have that. I'm just looking for something that would be a good eyebrow. Can I rotate this? 
Okay, I can. We can literally give him a unibrow. That's not really what we want. We can just turn off symmetry though, that's fine. That's not absolutely perfect. I need to like zoom in closer. Detail paint mode. Yes, let me get... What happened? Actually, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> it's not as like eyebrow shaped, but it is something. It exists. Let's like look at the muzzle a little bit here. So let's get like a little bit of a soft brush. Let's make it bigger and we'll turn off symmetry. And now we need to match that like brownish, light brownish color. All right, so this is like an online color picker. So let's see what color hex they have. Okay, five, two, three, nine, two, one. Let's go ahead and paste that into here and click enter. And this is supposedly like the exact coloring. And honestly, I think it's pretty close. It would definitely depend on like the screen that you're on and things like that. Now, I'm not getting the underside, but what we can actually do, and I am going to, this is like way too much. Trust the process, you guys. We're gonna get Spirit to lie down so I can get that like underneath of his nut muzzle. This is like the worst angle possible, but Spirit, it's okay, we can work with it. Okay, now what's next is to have you stand up again. And we need to grab the eraser. I just like, I really don't like this angle here. I feel like I need to get super close. Let me see if my graphics tablet thing will work with it. Because I really hope it does, because I feel like that would really help me. Okay, why am I painting? Okay, because I've moved to paint for some reason. Okay, but that was working. Yes, okay, I can use my graphics tablet. What's it called? A drawing tablet? Not graphics tablet. I feel like I need to get so much closer though. What does this button do? Fill color? No, I do want to make it like a little bit lighter though. Like, can I like feather it a little bit? Because it's a cartoon, what's really interesting is it really like cuts in here. So let's just like paint this mouth area here back in. And then what happens is there is like a little bit of something like that. That's not the worst thing in the world, but it is a little bit more defined to go down a little bit more. You know what we should, maybe let's see if the symmetry can help me with this. Not insanely, I might go without symmetry. Oh, ah, go back. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button, that was a little scary. Gosh, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I want to feather it more. I really hope you guys know that I'm not an artist and I'm still learning these little tools here. I keep changing my mind because it's a cartoon. It's just really difficult to know what to do with the whole like mouth thing. I think that's, I think that's okay. Okay, let's just like move out for a second and let me see if I can change the main, the color of the mane. It might be something like this, which does mean we have to change the eyebrows. Maybe it's a little bit darker. I think I like this brown here. Why do I feel like the muzzle looks so bad? Oh gosh, I'm not struggling you well. Okay. I like really want to zoom in more. Zoom in. Detail paint mode. Like, let me get all the way up there. I don't know why when I'm in the detail paint mode, it doesn't work. Is this a glitch? I'm really not an artist for this. I don't know why it's not. Okay, there we go. Maybe my other idea was better because this is looking like a hot mess. All right, we've got a little bit of something here. I do, however, wanna, I pick of this, make it a little bit lighter and see if I can create a little bit of a fade. I feel like I need a blending tool. Okay, I feel like I wanna move on. <laughs> like. Let's get the color of these socks because I actually want to bring them up a little bit further as well. Maybe they're okay. No, I think I want them to be a little bit higher. Okay, and let's bring that just up over the knee a little bit more. Just a tad. It's not, it's not the worst thing. I think they, I feel like 
I feel like them making the Mustang look like Spirit was not an accident. They intended it for, to look like that. The eyebrows are ridiculous. I kind of want to see if anyone's actually already made Spirit. So people have started making Spirit. There's actually a little Spirit and Rain here as well. And they also made Little Creek, which is cute. What happened to my painting on those eyebrows? What happened to the quality? Why do my eyebrows look like that? You know what, I'm gonna move along. The last thing we have to do in paint mode is actually, I don't think there's a way to do this. I wish you could turn you up because I need to like, okay. If you don't know, Spirit is actually a done horse, which means he is going to have a little line down his back. So I didn't find any pictures where it was super noticeable, but I did find one and it's a relatively thin line. Let's see. What does that look like? Did it miss the middle? It missed the middle. How am I meant to do this? This is like the worst thing in the world. If I turn him upside down though, then I can't see his back. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. A really wonky line. Look, is <laughs> I thought this was going to be easier. I don't think there's actually a done coat pattern, but I don't want to click any because obviously that's going to mess up my painting now. What if we get a stamp, we rotate it to be straight. That's not too bad. And can I make it longer? Yeah, but it makes it thicker as well, which isn't what we ideally want. This is slightly better, but it's still not amazing. Okay, I need to be able to see the top. What if I like have you roll over for a second? Oh no, I accidentally painted somewhere. Oh my god, wait, it's not even centered, is it? Wait, stand up. I think we're so close. We're so close to being connected. What if I get you to roll over? Can I, can I do this? Oh, there's a few little gaps. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get this. I'm like so determined to get this. And then you guys are gonna be like, um, there's actually like a button you can press and it makes the horse done. I don't think the Sims have thought that much though. Oh, did I get it? Okay, wait. Look, it's not a super perfect line. It's a little funky. It's very funky. But I'm not sure I can do any better, you guys. Okay, let's see if we can at least get it to match into the tail a little bit better. Why is his eyebrows looking like that? Like, what happened to his face? Do you see that? Like, the weird texturing? Well, this is Spirit. His last name is, is gonna be Cimarron, because I don't know what else to do. He is going to be... He's gonna be brave. Probably a bit of a free spirit and independent i was kind of thinking about possibly doing aggressive but he's an aggressive horse in a like protective way um maybe i'll make him defiant brave defiant free spirit i think that kind of outlines him a bit like this isn't the i just like i i never want to see it again <laughs> I'm like kind of disappointed about this whole like line thing. Is he a, yeah, he's a mare. Oh no, he's a mare. That's, that's not good. He's a stallion. He needs to be a stallion. There we go. <gasps> what is that? Oh no. What if I like erase his eyebrows and then can go control Z? They're still like that. Okay. You know what? We're fixing these eyebrows. They like weren't the worst, but the more that time goes past, surely they can't get even worse. No. I messed it up. This is so difficult. I just want to zoom in, bro. I something like that. Oh, wait. This is a good angle to get that line. Okay, you know what? Why does my line look bad now, though? We are erasing this and we're starting again. Let's see if I can try drawing a line. Way too thick, but possibly better. The way that this stamp thing works is beginning to drive me a little bit crazy. Like, come on. Why why are you now on an angle? I really thought I'd be able to do this. I really did. I really thought I had it in me. To make this actually look good. But I don't think I do. 
What if I got a ruler? Wait, let me get a ruler for my drawing thing. And let's see. I think it needs to be a really solid line like this. I need to stop like being afraid of using this one here. Okay, there we go. Let's finish that there. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's see if I can connect the two dots. Maybe let's get my, my ruler out again. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. It's not perfect, but I think it was worth redoing. The eyebrows is something that we just don't question anymore. This here is spirit. This is spirit, okay? Now, because we can't actually get rid of all of the outfits, like this, the horse has to have tack on. I think we'll give him like something super basic because you know, he's, he's a free spirit. Let's give him a little bit of a Western style maybe. I really want to give him something that like feels kind of like his coloring, I guess. Maybe something like this. It's not amazing, but I think the worst part is the eyebrows, but I think we have a spirit. And I just realized we didn't really look at different manes, but his mane is definitely straight. It's probably a lot longer than what we can get in here. Um, and his tail is also just like, it's it's just a straight tail. What about his forelock? Can we do anything for the forelock? We could do something a little bit messier like that. Or like that, actually no, this gives me spirit vibes for some reason. Okay, wait, we just gotta like rub something else out up there. I don't really know what's going on up there. If we were gonna get like nitpicky, which I feel like I already am, then technically like inside his ears, it's like a little bit darker in there. And it's also around the outside a little bit too. I know it's not amazing, but back to his hair, he definitely doesn't have any feathering. But yeah, his, his mane is just the straight one. Let's see this coat thickness. I don't know. I feel like to keep it that cartoony vibe, we'll just keep it as like a thin coat. I'm actually very happy how the Dawn pattern turned out. The eyebrows are something that I just never want to see again. Moving along now, we need another horse. And after about an hour of me doing this. Whoa, this is a gorgeous little horse here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We're going to actually now make Rain. All right, so Rain is a little bit different because she is actually an American paint horse. I'm already exhausted after spirit and now I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. Let's look at some coat patterns here. Maybe there's one that looks like her. I think I prefer starting with a blank canvas. Let's get a bit of her coloring. It is once again a very vibrant color, similar to maybe something like this. Let's change her main color as well. It is that blondish color like this, but that's like a little bit... I don't know, I don't really like, it's like, it's very yellowish. I might use this one here. Let's look at your eyes though, buddy. You've got blue eyes, which works out well. She does have light blue eyes. I don't like the blue eyes of this one though. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's make them a little bit smaller maybe. She's got like, she's got like human eyes, but in horse form. But there's not too much customization that we can do with it. Let's move into the paint mode now. Although, once again, it's a very stark, like, because it's a cartoon, there's not really, like, gosh, there's a, there's a word for it, but I don't know it. It's very much so something like this. It goes up into the hair. And then around the back, it's a little bit, like, see, I can't paint because the user interface is there. This here very much, like, comes out like this. And then it like hugs her hind quarters there. Let me go over the back like so. Let's see what this looks like. Oh no, I was on symmetry that whole time. Okay, we're gonna have to restart. I'll make it kind of like I can not connect the dot, but we'll start up here. Okay, honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world. I do think this up here needs to be a little bit bigger. Like so maybe and that's not the worst thing maybe we should work on the face a little bit so it kind of comes around like so her whole ear here is white and then it comes down around and all of her muzzle is white or her face and that's not the worst thing there this honestly isn't the worst looking side let's move to the other side of her 
it was actually really difficult to find the other side of her. So I think I only, I can only find one right now. It's more like half, like so. Something along the lines of this. This is not looking like rain. But the mane is growing on me a little bit. So it kind of comes down here. Into that leg. But not all the way. Up here and over the back. Something like this. And then it goes like something. It under there. Oh! It happened again. Let me just use my mouse for a second. Up like so. I don't really know what to say right now. I'm like really focusing. Something like this. We come up from here. We go around. Okay, that's not perfect. But let me just fill it in and see how I like it. We still need to do the leg markings as well. Don't worry, I have not forgotten. Maybe this isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, let me grab the eraser because it, I feel like it goes up more like this and around. This area here needs to be a little bit thinner. Same with over here a little bit. Honestly, that's not the worst thing right there. Um, I'm like not mad at that. Let's actually turn her onto her back. We've missed a little bit of a spot there, but we can get to it. And let's kind of connect the dots under here a little bit. We'll just fix this up a little bit nicer. This is like just such a beautiful angle. I feel like this would have worked better, but there's just like not enough angles. It's like not quite the right angle that I need for this. But yeah, I don't have a reference of her underside, so I'm just kind of working on connecting the two here and making them look a little bit nicer. Oh gosh. Yeah, see, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Honestly, I feel like it kind of looks like rain. I think the eyes are throwing me off a little bit. Now, I'm trying to think. She doesn't really have pink. In fact, in this picture, her eyes don't look quite as vibrant blue. I'm getting a little bit distracted, but they look more like a lighter hazily color. I think I like that a little bit better. We do need to fix up those ears. Okay, let's like fix up the ears now. I kind of want to know what's underneath the mane, but I also kind of don't want to think about it, so I'm not. <laughs> I, I didn't think about it for spirit, so I'm not going to think about it for you. Yeah, that's not the worst thing. Okay, the last thing we need to do is actually do the legs now. So her front two legs, uh, the markings kind of go up to her knees here. So let's like draw a little line. And this one's probably a similar height. And then her back two legs are more like a, oops, a irregular half sock or something they're kind of like i have a little angle here i would say that they're the same angle i think i've done it backwards but at the end of the day i'm getting a little bit tired you guys there we go okay oh no we missed the underside of her chin up there let me just quickly i don't think that's the worst thing in the world i might adjust her body shape a little bit make her ears a little bit smaller hopefully I don't really know what to do for the details there for like all of the body shape stuff. Do I think it could be better? I do. I would love to see you guys try this out as well. All right, let's call her Rain and we'll also do Cimarron. And let's make her, she is friendly, intelligent, and also probably independent. Um, I think that describes Rain. It's actually been a little bit since I watched the movie. I used to come home from school and watch the movie every single day. I don't think this is the greatest thing in the- I like- I just keep looking at it and I'm like, I don't know if I like it. Now she does have that feather in her hair, so I think I'm actually gonna give her some flowers because it's as close as I can get to those like feathers. And then for her riding gear, let's also give her like- well, she is actually a trained horse. Um, she is domesticated. Maybe we'll give her the pink one because the pink one's pretty. Actually, I think she also like a light blue, but maybe we don't have a light blue. Actually, it doesn't look like we have a light blue. Well, that's fine. We'll just do this like greenish color then. I think I'll do that one there. Okay. I think this is our rain. Oh gosh, I feel like I look like a hot mess. <laughs> I've just been here staring at my computer like, oh my gosh. I'll also show you guys how to get these horses. Now, one thing that I definitely want to do in the future is do some breeding. But really quickly, you guys, let's play with genetics just one time. So we're going to have Spirit and Rain. 
You know what I think I'm just going to really quickly do? I'm going to actually pay attention to um, underneath the hair. Oh yeah, we didn't even look at like, we definitely want to do a different full lock here actually. Oh, it's really bad you guys. Okay, let me just, let me just enter the paint mode real quickly. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, yeah, let's just, um, let's fix that. Now let's go ahead and give her back her hair. So we're going to give her this one here. I'm kind of tempted to give her the plaited ones because she was domesticated. And just so there's a little bit of different variation, I don't really know. I think I'm going to give her this little short. Actually, I didn't mind this one here. I do actually, you know what? Maybe I will give her the plait one because maybe instead of the feather, we'll do like a plait, I guess. I don't know, but I think that's rather nice. And let's go ahead and add spirit. Oh, look at that. He's got a little mohawk. It's definitely like rain. Let's like just randomize it a few different times and just see what possibilities there are. Now we have a little... What's that doing there? Oh no. I'll fix up any little errors. It looks like I really wanted to see whether it would create like a spirit, but it's the rain style. But I think when you start drawing things... It doesn't really recognize it as a pattern anymore. I'm not entirely sure how genetics with horses work, but it's underneath your it's underneath your hair, isn't it? You're hiding something from me, spirit. His eyebrows are definitely gonna be funky with different like shapes of his eye and things like that. I really want to see your hoof color. <gasps> there is different hoof colors. Perfect. I keep I just keep getting distracted. Like I'm still it's still very new to me. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That color in there. What, what about spirit's hooves? I didn't really look at that. Yeah, spirit also has light hooves as well. So let's also change that up. Okay, I have to click on body, click on hoof color, and we'll make it a light hoof. Okay. We finally have spirit and raid. <laughs> I'm honestly pretty happy with how it turned out. I think I could definitely... I think there's definitely more talented people out there who could do more. And things like that. I'm also not sure what mod capabilities there are. Whether people can create a really good looking rain and spirit using like a mod of a coat. So you draw it in Photoshop or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm actually going to upload these to the gallery with my custom content taken out. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to download these horses for yourself in the game. Alright so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and share this to the gallery now. And it has worked. Now if you want to find it, all you have to do is on the gallery, you can search up my origin ID by clicking on item name and then EA account ID and type just AN0 and then the pixel. And if you search that, then you'll be able to find all of my creations. I do have more under custom content as well, but not too many. And you will find Spirit and Rain right here for your enjoyment. Obviously, you will need the Horse Ranch pack. You know what? I'll also showcase it on my profile. So there it is. It should be pinned to my showcase if you go to my profile here. Another way you could probably find it is by going item name and then Spirit and Rain. Now, obviously, there'll probably be a lot more. Um, mine does actually appear to be the first one that shows up right now for me. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm logged in. So yeah, there's um there's a few. It looks like people have also made Spirit Riding free. Uh, so there's some characters from that. Let me know if you want to see some more like Esperanza and Strider. Maybe Breeding Spirit and Rain. Although looking at what we did today, you know, is the Breeding and Star in sorry the Sims is not going to be like Rival Stars and things like that because we have painted these patterns on. I'm not sure if once again it would be different if. If someone made custom content for it so the game saw it as something different i'm not even sure and let me know who else we should be recreating in the sims i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you're interested in seeing more sims for content from me then definitely let me know in the comments below on the screen right now it's going to be another sims for horses video whether it be one of my future videos or my very first time playing with the horses this was really fun despite that it took me ages and it was a lot of learning and i'm going to continue learning and i could probably fiddle around with these horses for ages and just try and get it perfect but at some point i do have to stop <laughs> i love you all so much and i'll see you all later bye